first question. The thing is always like when you when you when you when you see the movie for the first time, you have all these ideas in your head, and and you start writing the initial themes, and you start collecting sounds, and you start collecting um, <clears throat> potentially unique instruments that you want to buy for this uh, for this film, which I did, the the Pacific drums, and then you start writing like pieces of music that I normally do away from the film, uh, not to a scene level, but I call them suites. Um, just to, to write pieces of music, pretty elaborate pieces of music that are written with the film in mind, but away from the film. And that is your original concept. So when you ask the, that question, I would say the final result of the score is extremely close to the original suites that I've written for this, for this film. There was one suite that was called The Island. I didn't include it on any of the releases because it's a very long suite. It's 40, 45 minutes and sections of all these suites actually appear as individual cues. So for me, it didn't make any sense to put that on the CD because it's 45 minutes and it's all covered in the different scenes. But it has the aesthetic that I really wanted to achieve, which was really weird sound design made from all kinds of different animals. Um, the Pacific drums that play these really chaotic rhythms and uncomfortable sounds um, that I already had as sound design sounds. And that combined really became what the sound of that island is. And eventually we started adding a little bit more orchestra towards the end of the movie, which I originally didn't plan, um, but we needed it anyway, because, um, you know, it's a Hollywood movie, but we also need, you know, some expansion of the scope of what we're seeing on picture. Um, that heroic things are being done. It's really hard to capture that with just electronic elements or just sound design elements. So <clears throat> the orchestra is extremely helpful for that. Um, but I would say in this case, we got really close to what my initial thought was. And also the director, Roar, super nice guy, very open-minded, was very open to do something very experimental for this film. And so was MGM. So. That's pretty unique to do that. Usually when I start on a movie, I do something that is kind of experimental, but then I have to put water with the wine, you know, to turn it into um, a more conventional score. But I still end up being pretty alternative because that's how I start. But in this movie, <clears throat> they actually asked me to do more alternative stuff on certain, uh, on certain scenes. So they felt that at a certain point, I went to Hollywood on the score and I had to dial it back. So that's like really unique. I mean, that's the first time that ever happened that to me, you know, at least where they said, oh, you, can you make it more alternative? Can you make it more raw? Can you make it more this? So it's, it's pretty close to that. So I would say that because of that approach, um, it's hard to have traditional themes um, because that immediately uh, takes it to a world where we know what it sounds like, uh, the thematic world, uh, you know, if, if we think about Star Wars or something. So that's definitely not what they wanted on this film. So this is a pure example where they wanted less thematic material and more sound design and weird sounds and rhythms to underscore what the action was or the emotion and not so much the traditional uh, thematic approach. Um, and I've talked about this in other Ask Me Anything videos where people ask, how come this movie doesn't have really memorable themes? Well, it's because you work with a director that wants to take a completely different road and just try something else. But nevertheless, I'm very happy with the end result. And like the question said, or asked me, is that this movie is pretty close to what my original plan was to attack this. So I hope this answers your question. Thank you.